Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of the grandest virtual party. Chat, are there any particular nations you want to check out? Desmond should have colonists in the Caribbean Sea. No, yet they are still in. Uh, they're still in. Uh, uh, just in Canada. No, but the Netherlands does. Ooh, look um, at that. Which, which is really interesting. Also, who, who's that on Bermuda? Hang on. What's oh, Bermuda? Oh. Oh, it's the referee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they hang out in the in the Bermudas. I mean, that's a great way to be spending your day as a as a, a as a referee, um, just hanging out in the, in Bermuda. How, how are we in Bordegor? Who are the ugliest ones so far? Britney, not too pretty. They're looking like a mouth ready to chew up uh, Europe. I it's what. For me, it's uh, either Desmond uh, or Poland. Romania uh, is not too pretty either, to be honest. They have this. Oh, weird... actually, you know, they've got this distension that's touching hands with Bavaria, <laughs> like they're they're recreating the the walls of the Sistine Chapel. Uh, I've just clicked onto Poland here, and they are taking a load of loans or devaluing their currency. It's some one of the two, because there was a lot of money sounds there. I also noticed there's a few countries that have gone on to the third idea group as well. Most people went on to the uh, economic, but uh, Desmond... We have blue flame. We have a massive amount Ooh. of blue flame. Ooh. Uh, sorry to cut in there. I've just realized we have a big old set of player wars. Um, Magdeburg just took on Poland and defeat them in Magdeburg, Magdeburg's um, land. Let's see what this war is. I think it's going to be uh, the same one that a lot of these are in. So we have the Georgian conquest of Ust uh which is Russia, Finland, Milan, Poland, and Tuscany versus Georgia, Bavaria, Croatia, Florence, Magdeburg, Romania, and Swabia. Um, I think that's all of our player war right there. Um, Oh and yeah, Croatia's in that. Yeah, this is this is a big player war, um, player on player conflict here. Uh, very interesting to see. I'm going to try and get the player map mode. Um, uh, just so yeah, they're gonna. Also... So far, it looks is really scary for Georgia here. Uh, they are being invaded by well, massive Russian stacks of armies moving down here into Georgia, uh, and so far their allies. Well, they're, they're hanging out there on the Western Front. Uh, oh, hold on, I'm going to change. Give me the political map mode back, please. Oh, oh, did they? Mm, they hid it under the play map. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm working out whoever changed all of this around. What? what let's blame... Uh, it, should, it should have been uh, Enigmatic Rose on that computer yesterday, last... No, 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 okay. no, no, it was, it was Ben. Oh, blame ben. so I have to blame my boss. Okay. Blame Ben. Blame, blame Magnus. <laughs> um, so we've got a big conflict here between uh, Roma uh, Romanian troops and Polish troops. Romanian troops not looking too hot here, but they did just get some reinforcements. It's still not going to be enough. They're going to need more allies coming in here. Poland has got troops backing them up, though, so their allies might just leave the Romanians to lose this battle here. Um, Magdeburg is trying to siege down um, forts in northern Poland here. Uh, oh, it's close though. This combat is very close. Yeah, the armies are very, very close as well. So we have currently now it's ticking down, but it's about 230k mm -hmm. for the Georgia faction and 225k for Russia in infantry, and then you have 21k inf uh, cavalry for Georgia and 30k uh, in cavalry uh, for mm -hmm. Russia, and the cannons are 24, 36 in Russia favor. How are they? So thick and stuff. It's, it's, this is very interesting in terms of combat. So Georgia declared this war, but all of their invasions seem to have been pretty much stunted outside of the one in northern Italy here um, being handled by the Bavarian Croatian armies. Uh, but everywhere else, Romania is being thrown back in Poland. Swabia is, and Magdeburg are being thrown back in Poland. Georgia is having to play very defensive while Russia appears on their border they haven't got a united front line and their their focus is split between essentially three fronts currently and uh, it's allowing the the armies of poland and russia to essentially hold everyone at bay poland is over force limit um as well uh let's check russia russia is under force limit by 30 men force limit everywhere else is about half oh no romania is almost at force croatia is at force as well we've got a battle happening in tuscany tuscans are attacking the croatian forces in treviso uh hoping that the negative modifier in the hills there will help them but i don't know about this there's a lot of there's a lot of croatians and croatians have got a 
distinct morale advantage despite the minus two. It's on a, it's over 1.3 above them in morale. Yes, Tuscany has the discipline, but I don't know if it will be enough with that much of a morale advantage, especially when they roll. Actually, Tuscany is rolling well right now, um, but no, the Croatians are rolling well just as well now. And yeah, the morale is just going to keep them in this battle. Uh, valiant effort, though. They had to try and make a go of it because their fort was about to go. But uh, yeah, just too many allies around there. Again, this is the, the the need for a combined front. But that was the the time that this it's gotten really close. went actually in favor of uh, Georgia. Yep. So uh, Poland won the the battle uh, on the Western Front, and uh, it's looking pretty grim on the Southern Front. Uh, Russia is now pouring down. Uh, Oops. I, I, I've been informed by the studio that it was actually Mordred that was changing all of the map modes on this computer. So uh, I, ha I have him to blame. So, important, uh, important uh, details to keep track of. Yeah. Who Mordred, is responsible? My friend. Yeah. Why do you do this to me? Um, <laughs> the Knights. Oh, sorry. Jerusalem. I should say. Jerusalem has finished its war with the Mamluks as well. So they're going to be solidifying their territory for a while. Uh, actually, have they joined Georgia in this war? They have. Reinforcements have arrived. Ooh. Jerusalem and uh, I think that's Ajam have uh, also joined Georgia in the conflict. So the enemies are starting to stack up against Russia. But if they can hold this border still, they have a really, really good go of it. Their weak link here, uh, unfortunately, is going to be Tuscany. And it's not due to manpower or anything. It's due to position. They are split so far away from the rest of their coalition that any battles against Tuscany uh, aren't going to be... Um, aided by by the the strength of the alliance unless poland and russia can start putting some real pressure on places like uh, romania and uh croatia but even yeah. then tuscany are kind of surrounded here feels like uh, tuscany has been uh, been uh, used as a bait here to 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 lure all the all the central european powers down to to keep fighting there because it looks rather unopposed uh, on the main battlefield here Ooh, now they went into battle it's another battle in treviso here it's going to be much blood is going to be shed here in treviso i think um yeah there is that morale oh what hang on massive morale spike for the tuscan forces is that ah oh, it's switzerland the dev <laughs> team has thrown their mercenaries in with their excellent swiss morale uh, and it's it's almost going to carry the day but it's just not enough to, the, to crack the forces here from the reinforcement ticks uh, coming in from the Cro Croatian alliance. But it's going to be so much closer. One more of those, and Croatia might be thinking twice. However, the, if this Milanese army could come in, they could stape them off. No! Oh, Milan! Milan just losing that 5k there. Are Switzerland directly in this war? Or is this, you know, no, this is Condottieri. Uh, this is the Swiss doing what they do best and selling mercenaries. There, there was to a pretty big battle up uh, in uh, in the Poland border there too, where Poland just uh, fended off a big stack uh, of alliance oh. armies. I will say also Poland almost completing their third idea group now. They are going to be powerful um, necessarily throughout this game. They have a forty three percent combat ability for cavalry right now because of Wing Tassars. Uh, and also they have a 20% infantry combat ability. So that plus 110 discipline and a 4.44 morale, that is a scary force. That is a very scary force to be fighting. Whilst they're making gains in uh, Tuscany, I still feel like the Georgian Alliance are on the back foot here. I mean, the war score is kind of showing that. Um, what is the war goal for this war? It's Ust uh, Mendevsky. So this is going to be somewhere on the Russian Georgian. Yeah, Georgian. it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's uh... there. It's looking it's a, pretty solid right now. It does not look threatened at all. No, it's it's a five dev Pontiac step province as well. It's the hmm, it's it, it was like, kind of a I'm, weird war goal, wasn't it? Like considering the power distribution here, <laughs> how are they gonna fight for that war goal? I'm is what I'm guessing it is. It's Georgia has been asked by. I don't know if this is Georgia trying to take land from Russia. I think this might be a way uh, like for the rest of the monarchist alliance to gain land elsewhere in, say, Tuscany and Poland. Yeah, yeah. How many players are in this war? Hold on. Two, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Over half our player base are in this war right now. This is a huge conflict. Yep, 13. That's, uh, yeah, like you said, that's over half. 13 of 21. And then five countries are not even in, in, in Europe or in this area. So <laughs> it's almost everyone that's actually in this. I yep. guess Desmond and Brittany. Brittany aren't in, but Brittany is a lot allied in, so there is a chance they could come in. Like that's Cologne. Are you Condottieri? No, you're fighting Ooh. Swabia. Okay, no, Swabia the, is at war. The the Georgian coalition or Georgian alliance is now 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 they're all massing up here on the on the Polish border. Yeah, I don't, I didn't want to poke. Uh, point it out purely because I don't know who's listening, but there is a definite area there to watch. I just want to say there is another player war going on now. Brittany has declared war on Swabia. Um, and I believe Swabia is a player. Yeah, Brittany, Burgundy, Castile and Cologne, Lubeck and Norway against Swabia. Swabia is outnumbered, outmatched. They are just hiding their troops. Poor Swabia. Um, poor Swabia. This could be... This could spell the end of another player. Their alliance chain just not good enough. They tried to stop Brittany owning all of France and I feel that's an ill-advised move considering how powerful they are and their alliance is. Um, Swabia is an archbishopric which is interesting to say why Cologne is in this war uh, considering Cologne is also an archbishopric I'm guessing they're both part of the Theocratic League Brittany of yeah, course. Yeah it feels like League. the Theocratic League is having the most problems internally between like people within the Theocratic League fighting each other's it's, uh... Well, we saw it in session one of yesterday, didn't we? With uh, the, the who is now Poland invading the Livonian Order. It seems like they can't keep their league together. What is the Pope doing? He has <laughs> orthodoxy on his border. He can't keep his league together. Ah, it's, it's, you know, it's fine. Yeah, no, France it's, is the Holy uh, Roman Emperor. What can... the, the Holy Roman Emperor is barely anyone. Um, so France is the Holy Roman Emperor currently. <laughs> And yeah, Russia is uh, is uh, waking the way through Georgia. Georgia has had a reinforcement uh, army here from Jerusalem, uh, so the Crusaders are are here. It's going to be down to these mountain forts, is the thing. Yeah. And unfortunately, this mountain fort set up here with the capital is uh, not really going to help them with the zone of control. The enemy is going to be able to take their capital and they're not going to get many bonuses. I, why they haven't just built the fort in their capital here, I don't know. <laughs> that's actually that's a good question, actually. Because um, it's also mountains and it would actually be a level 3 fort if they built the level 2 fort there. Um, either way, there is going to be a conflict, either a conflict here or uh, Georgia is going to be seriously under threat and it's going to be down to their allies. But there is a big combat happening in Poland. Um, unfortunately, again... Poland just... Oh, actually, no, I, I was about to say something, but I feel like it might go the other way. There's a couple of zero rolls there from the Korat Alliance. Um, 130,000 men just got poured into combat to make sure that they won the day there in, po in Posen. Ooh, that's actually Poland interesting. Has, yeah, Poland has now been pushed back. This is what I said needed to happen. The, the alliance needed to form up, get all of their troops together and focus on one front. They were split between three. And this holding pattern in uh, Georgia is no longer. Uh, the Georgians and the Jerusalem Jer Jerusalemite army is looking to go in on this Russian fort who are trying to force down the capital. Um, there's a lot of troops in here. There's... And they didn't get the they didn't get the capital down before the armies went in. But will it be enough? Russia, of course, uh, high morale and a little bit of discipline against a slightly higher morale in Georgia, but no discipline spike. It that negative two is really going to have to come into play here. Ooh, but, but I uh, don't think it's going to be enough. No. There's so many Russian forces here. The capital here is going to fall, put, fall, putting a lot of pressure on the war. Yeah, no, Russia's won that. Uh... So yeah, Georgian Georgia is crumbling, uh, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if uh, when Georgia falls here, uh, with the Russian troops being able to, will they be able to move all the way over to the Western Front and help out here? Morocco has entered the Georgian War. Ooh, which side is on it? the side of Russia? Ooh, okay. So the the Russian alliance is going ever more in the favor. Poland is making an attack in uh, Tushel. Um, 
a lot of Polish forces here against not a lot of Romanian forces. All of the Alliance chain needs to be being sent into this combat. There is no way they can win this fight without that. They need to just go. Just go. Um, they don't know how many Polish reinforcements obviously uh, are around um, because of the fog of war, I think. Yeah, and those dice it. roll are uh, are really. E oh, that was a good for Romania. Yeah, the, the negative one for Romania is going to be hurting because Poland are really strong. That's why they need the entire alliance chain in this because even with 110,000 there, they are down on the morale. That final Magdeburgian army needs to go in. Come on. Can you make it? Will they make it in time? Oh. Yeah, they'll probably make it yes. in time unless there's some bad <laughs> rolls here. But yeah, it's like I said, it's going to take all of these this alliance to beat just Poland currently. Can you imagine if Russian forces and Polish forces were on the same front right now? That would be an unstoppable force. Okay, they. But yeah, the victory goes to the. What we should name the faction something cool. I feel. Chat, do you have any good ideas for the uh, for the for the alliance names? Oh, the Black Sea Alliance for Georgia. That's that's nice. I like that's that. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice. Black Sea Alliance versus. Um, Russo-Polish Concord. Um, Tuscany is now being reinforced by Moroccan troops, uh, so their guerrilla war in Bavaria is being undertaken. And Georgia Russia is complete, has... completely left completely to their own. There's no no Black Sea alliance. No, wait. Yeah. So, George, wait, Georgia, Georgia was Georgia. Georgia the Black Sea alliance? Or Russia? Yes. So Georgia, Georgia that... is the Black Sea, yeah. Okay. So what? So it's a Russian Poland faction, Russian Poland Morocco Tuscany for faction that don't have any. Yeah. Eastern yeah. Slavic alliance we have here, the Warsaw Eastern Pact. I like that. The, the Warsaw, Warsaw Pact. Pact. <laughs> um, the Poland is in combat again. Again, again, the Black Sea Alliance need to send in these troops. They they need to get in there because Poland can just keep reinforcing this battle to make sure it goes in their favor currently. 100,000 Poles currently against 55,000 Romanians. The morale is not going to be ticking in their favor though because they're not they're slowly not going to be able to fill that front line especially with those rolls. Rolls are slightly going in the favor. That Magdeburgian stack needs to get in there. Oh no, uh, they pulled out and Magdeburg's ooh. being left in. That could be a stack wipe here. This is ill-timed. They need to get better on this unit coordination if they're to beat what, Poland. Yeah, that's that's looking good. But yeah, I, I think they managed to avoid the stack wipe at least. Yeah, that they know. need to they need to start getting some. And now these, Russian um, troops are moving uh, towards uh, <laughs> the Western Frontier. They're leaving a 54k stack to siege down Georgia, and they're sending the rest of the army to the to the Western Front. Yeah, this is this is not looking good for the Black the, the Black Sea Alliance because Poland and Russia put together is going to stomp anything that unless every single man on a on a fort modified battle of the black sea alliance goes in i think russia and poland will come ahead on every day just because they can throw bodies at the problem um that's yeah. the main thing we need to think about it with this war i think manpower is going to be bringing a massive amount into it and also the russian alliance now um actually out manpowers them on all fronts 20,000 more ca cannons, 20,000 more infantry, 3,000 more cavalry. As Switzerland is taking the opportunity to just start some AI wars on their own <laughs> while this is going on. Trying to gobbling up, gobble up some some new territory, seems like. A Swiss conquest of Augsburg is going on at the same time. Yeah, um, Swabia got completely cut down to size as well. I, I, d I don't know if that might actually be a GG for that player, just, just to point that out, because that was a unfortunately a sideshow to this epic theater showdown that's going on. Um, Burgundy took a lot of Swabian land, uh, I'm guessing for Brittany to integrate later, and also Cologne took a little bit of territory. Uh, we get a declaration, like a little bit out of the, out of the story here, but uh, the Lord Admiral of Desmond is support Brittany Breton claims to hold France region lands. The Swabian uh, have great sin of attacking Desmond in past years, so Breton actions are fully justified. Okay, so so Brittany has the backing of of, uh, of Desmond, uh, which I believe they've had pretty much the entire game, right? I think so. Uh, the, another big conflict, um, sorry, battle happening in Posen. Um, it's equal footing because they're on uh, they're on grassland with the fort uh, has fallen. There is uh, no negative modifiers here, so it's just going to come down to army skill and manpower, and that is just... Poland is just trashing 
the forces of the the Black Sea Alliance here. Russia is here now. Ooh. I don't know if there are any Russian troops in this combat. They're just standing and watching. Uh, they grab their popcorn. <laughs> they're seeing the cannons fire. Um, oh, um, yeah. the brutality of pike and shot warfare. However, that that's a lot of troops been moved in now from Poland. The, the Russians are going to have to act. Um, if they can get in there in time before Poland makes a tactical retreat, I think they're going to try and stand out. Yep. yep. Just one Russian stack there is enough to outweigh 60,000 extra troops uh, that, that's different in this combat. Uh, yep. The roles are really not going in the favor of uh, the Black Sea Alliance as well. There was a lot of ones in there. Uh, RNG, not with... RNG is, is clearly not a patriarch of the Orthodox faith yep. today. And um, the Magdeburg is out of manpower. And, and uh, oh, Romania is almost out of manpower. Uh, Croatia is almost out of manpower. I say 25,000, like it's almost out of manpower. <laughs> yeah, no, to... I was just going to say Russia. Well, actually, Russia's Russia, 23 Russia's and Poland are five, so. Okay, okay. So every kill is, is a necessary, is a kill. Actually, there's something we should check. What is the uh, army professionalism here of Poland? None. Oh, there's some in Russia because they can claim that for manpower is why I, I wondered mm. um, actually so Poland's almost out of manpower they have been bled dry so any kill on Poland is a good kill but they're backed up by Russia now I think that's going to be a very very tough nut to crack um, I want to know what the teams think of our our, our, our names that we've given these alliances <laughs> like uh, I feel like um, Morocco and Tuscany are like why are we in the Warsaw Pact <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've got a fight here in the Bavarian um, uh, they, they managed, Bavarian Alps. Some poor Finnish aid. troops getting uh, getting uh, mopped up by, by some Romanians. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a stack wipe on Tuscany there. I thought that was a I thought that was gonna there was there was a fight in the Alps here and it, where the Bavarians caught a Tuscan army and I was like, I was expecting uh, ill fated things. Um, Poland here attacking Magdeburg. Magdeburg stands alone pretty much except for this Romanian force. There's a lot of Poles here and I, I feel like even with this negative modifier the Poland's going to come out on top here unless something goes dire, direly wrong for them. Um, yeah. No, it's... Oh, wait. Romanians are, are enforcing but yeah, I, I know that, that shouldn't be enough. There was a stack there from Magdeburg. Magdeburg almost pulled out of that battle thinking it didn't want to commit. And I think that hesitancy is what lost them the battle in this timer, actually. Uh, Poland's just going to get reinforced here by Russia. And that's going to put a death knell here to the co this combat on this run. I feel like I feel like the writing is on the wall in the, in the, the Russian-Polish Warsaw Pact. Yeah. It's going to come out on top. I just going to be how deadly the terms are. I w if I was the diplomats of any of these nations, I would be talking now. Uh, however, is that Cologne joining the war? Ooh, are they? Cologne oh, is yeah. In. Cologne has come in. Uh, I, I gotta say, I'm impressed by, by their decision to come in and try to... to <laughs> like, going in on the losing side. That's pretty pretty, pretty ballsy. Well, uh, Poland has got some very, very high morale here. They got 5.2 morale and then 10% combat bonus to both infantry, cavalry, and cannon. So they're not... They're, they're not and 115 percent discipline their armies are going to be pretty potent here and they might have just caught a small polish stack um poland is pulling back seeing that the Col colonial army coming in they're like oh no not another one cologne here yeah cologne could be that, that's this. that's an interesting like but what like makes me wonder though why why are they joining now like it, <laughs> it's a weird is it like they, they could have made a big difference in the beginning it feels like uh, uh, now what well, they were in the conflict with Brittany in the beginning they were helping uh, dismantle right. Swabia um, it so it, this could be a t tactical play here but also you've got to remember in this uh, the, the the Black Sea Alliance which is mainly helmed by these monarchist factions Magdeburg here is an archbishopric and so is Bavaria uh, so Cologne might have been saying, hang on, there are Polish troops attacking people of my faction group in Germany. This is not on. And they've kind of stepped in here to try and swing that, um, considering that the attention seemed to have been on Magdeburg and not uh, and not, not um, Georgia or any of the other faction members. Um, Croatia has actually moved its troops There's with also, Georgia over there, there here. There might be a tipping the on the... 
a, a, a tipping of the scales here. I see a 3k Lubeck <laughs> stack walking through Sweden, <laughs> like trying to make their way into the ah. Russian heartland <laughs> to turn the war around. <laughs> Lovely. Love it. Um, is Lubeck a player anymore? No. Nope. No, they're not. <laughs> ah, it's a little <laughs> misguided AI walking around. Uh, just gonna, we're gonna go do some guerrilla war in northern Finland. <laughs> yep, that, that's gonna okay. change everything. Uh, how is Georgia looking now? Though? Ooh, Georgia is looking rough, but oh, there that's are where the a Russians lot of troops now. Yeah, Russia. Yeah, the Russians have been, the Russians have been divided back over to this side. See, I think, I think, although they might not win every battle over here, I think dividing the attention of these players is gonna is gonna really help especially now that cologne can reinforce the polish front speaking yeah. ooh, of which, there's a poland ooh, has pretty much pulled back creation stack in the mountains mm -hmm. in yeah. the mountains only a negative one here so a pretty high uh, was that a maneuver on that general yeah higher maneuver on that uh, russian general as they managed to negate some of the negative modifiers wow that russian army is just crushing the car out one despite being slightly worse Oh, that reinforcement tick came in at the right time there. The problem is Russia has got a lot more reinforcements where that came from. Yep. Like I said, ne not necessarily winning these battles is going to be the, the best thing, but dividing Russia's attention whilst their you know, team has the manpower advantage. However, that, that's getting very close. That If this G Georgian uh, reinforcement stack gets in in time, this could actually swing in their favor. Oh, oh the Russians, the Russians. So tight. Oh. Oh, the Russians got in first. The Russians got in first. And that Georgian army, unfortunately, oh. is a province away. And that smaller stack... Oh, okay, they stopped it in chat time. I thought that was going to be a stack wipe there. Yeah. But again, like I said, they're dividing the attention. And that is allowing a uh, breathing room on the Polish front. The Polish has ah, again. once again moved uh, moved uh, their, their positions uh, forward a little bit. Uh, taking some unnecessary attrition here in Nitze. Oh no, the Croatian army might get stack wiped here. They've had an, a bad retreat into a, a province right next to Russian forces. Their morale might be too low here to survive. It just depends. Can they get past that? Um, is it? They, are, they managed they to it? avoid they it. Yeah. But where's their retreating? They're only retreating to, to is it Televen? Tele uh, no, Yeveren? I think they're only going to Yeveren. I was hoping they were going to go to Ganja, but. Uh, uh. <laughs> I can't see. Let's see where they're going. Croatia, where's your army? Where is your army? Going? It doesn't seem oh, like no, they're the going Russians much further. Are... They, no, no, they're going to Alabab. They, they're fine. Yeah, and Russian uh, Russian armies are standing back anyway. Um, and now we have a small Polish uh, division here going into uh, Romania. A very tiny mm -hmm. Polish army going Taking on the post. Taking Arabia there. Uh, yeah, so much going on in this war. Like, so many fronts to keep track of. Mm -hmm. We've uh, got, uh, it's got It's gone quiet again on the Georgian front, so I'm going to quickly take a look over here at the desieging of the Polish gains here in the uh, the Polish Magdeburgian front. And Poland, if you look at this, Poland has got just over 100,000 men on its own, and then it's backed up by 27,000 Russians. I think with the forces here, because because Poland isn't going to be able to reinforce this very easily, um, they're also taking attrition where they're standing in these larger stacks. They're down to using mercenaries. They are taking a lot of loans. Oh my gosh. Poland is losing 82 ducats a month right now. The pressure is on for them. If the um, Black Sea Coalition here can actually get another win in combat Poland is going to look like they want out of this war despite Russia's gains yeah those winged hussars are just got, taking oh, them. they're yep. going to try and attack the colonies in uh, Poznan they're going to try again to use that fort negative modifier but it's farmland and the maneuver the colonial uh, general has negated the river crossing negative okay this is going to be a big battle here there's going to be a lot of troops um, the the, the Black Sea Alliance is moving its armies, maneuvering to get that reinforced. Poland, you might not want to send all your troops in here. You might want to just take the loss, um, but we'll see. It's going to be down to rolls. It's going to be down to rolls, and unfortunately, the Black Sea are not rolling well. Again, RNG is with the, the, the monastic order of Poland here, and the rolls are looking pretty good. The negative modifier has now come in because of the uh, sheer 
forces being reinforced into this battle. Um, Poland okay. committing. There's a they're, lot st they're still leaving a Poland 14k stack. Yeah, no, Poland, Poland, this is turned in their favor. This is going to need everything from the. Um, the uh, Oh, there's, there's, there's Poland troops being removed. Ooh. And that was the Russian The Russian stack got wiped there. The 27k Russians got wiped because of Poland's uh, mistimed exfiltration. And that goes in favor of the Black Sea Alliance. <sighs> yeah, no, quickly the, the luck has turned once more. Uh, I think that was an unfortunate uh, retreat there. But Poland, fearing for its economy and its life there, it's... it's, it's like I said, Poland is now really on the back foot because of their manpower money situation. Russia is content to just keep sieging Georgia. They feel like because it's the war goal, it's going to get them uh, more of this. But I think Georgia has just been going, okay, just just keep dying. Take as many debts as wherever you got. The rest of the alliance is going, you are holding back a tide that we can't deal with right now. Just take the hit and we'll pay you back later. We promise. Um, because they have turned it around on this one. Yeah. Uh, not to be... Uh, disregarded though Tuscany is making um, a move on Croatia Croatia is hurting uh, a little bit because of its uh, military losses trying to defend Georgia a little bit but I think they might be able to grab back and uh, turn on the, the Tuscan forces here the Tuscan forces aren't that strong um, oh. in comparison I wonder what the Russians are like are they going to try to just march through Georgia here and go in through, through Romania again or, or what's the plan here well, if they can 100% siege down Georgia and start, you know, heavily ticking uh, the war score, because Georgia are now on negative one stability, they can essentially tick them out of this war and force a peace. Yeah. Um, but I don't know how that will go down or if there's any uh, rules against that with the Turbo LARP system. Um, like I said, Tuscany, despite having the manpower advantage, just lost to Bavaria and Croatia. Uh, that's a done deal. Jerusalem has landed troops in southern Poland, opening up a new front. <laughs> uh, the, the Crusaders have landed in uh, Yezden, modern-day uh, Ukraine, and they're, they're going to start... I, well, there's only 21,000 men, but it's enough to uh, uh, bring probably at least a little bit of attention that way. We've also got another battle happening in Poland. Um, yeah, and, Poland the, and are Cologne going is in on a fort. Down. Yeah, so it and isn't theirs anymore. Cologne is sitting down a mountain fort in the, in the Ratibor. Uh, well, now they kind of they're, they're moving. They're, they're moving those troops ready for this for this Polish force. Uh, Poland's actually winning this battle despite the negative one modifier. But there again, it is down to the reinforcement. Pol Poland just pulled out. They saw. I'm guessing they got got vision on the um, remaining forces hiding back there, and they're like, no, we just can't fight this alone. We need Russia. We need some help. Yeah. Russia, again, though, not really caring. The communication between these two allies has has fallen apart a little bit here. And Jerusalem pulled out. They took Yedis on, and then they sailed away again. Um, I wonder if they've taken that because they want that one province in a peace deal, and they need to have sieged it to be able to get it. And I wonder if they're 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 aligning themselves diplomatically to be removed from this war. That's that's what my thinking would be. Poland now really suffering. Poland has gained some manpower back, but again, they are losing money rapidly, yeah, almost 100 ducats a month. And this uh, this uh, is turning into quite the bloodbath here. If we, we're going to check the losses here. So on the on the Warsaw Pact side, they have lost 819k infantry in battle, 283k to attrition, 37 <laughs> ships. Whereas the Black Sea Alliance has lost 850k infantry uh, in battle, uh, 200k to attrition, and 31 ships. So actually, the losses are less still on the Black Sea Alliance side. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, this war so far has claimed over 2 million lives. Poland is about to possibly win a combat to save its capital. Uh, the morale is not looking good for the Black Sea Alliance, but they have more troops to throw in this combat, and Poland is almost out. There is a Russian stack coming to reinforce them, and the Moroccans are standing by. Uh, the negative modifier really hampering the uh, Black Sea Alliance, but the, the, the manpower outnumbering here might start ticking that down for Poland. We've got a real big problem. I don't think Poland are going to lose this. If they can just keep their bottle and not retreat this one, they should be okay, giving them a little bit of breathing room on their capital. Yeah, the morale ticks just isn't enough there. I'd, 
also, the, none of the Black Sea Alliance need to early retreat this. If they early retreat this, they could risk some of their friends getting stack wiped. So they need to go together at the end of this battle. But if the retreat path isn't favorable, this also could turn around. Oh, Cologne left. Okay, everyone got out of that. Oh, Pol Poland hanging on there by the skin of its teeth. Um, Cologne might want to start thinking about moving its uh, forces that are sieging down Krakow. And meanwhile, we get a communique from uh, from the dragon horse of horses of Kazan, letting us know everything is going well out here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kazan. Uh, glad to hear everything is going okay for you. Uh, can you hear the din of battle all the way from Kazan? <laughs> Despite the fantastic um, battles we've seen, I still think this might go in the favor of the the Warsaw Pact, just in terms of the peace. I feel like we're getting to a point where all of these nations want a peace soon. Russia is now wiping out the Georgian armies over here in Azerbaijan. Uh, not Azerbaijan. Where is this? Over? This is modern day Iran, Iraq. Iran. And Iran. the war has now been going on for nine years, claiming close to 2.5 million lives. Wow. It's what a, a conflict. <laughs> it's, a, it's a European disaster. Poland accuses Cologne of the most heinous crime, calling them oathbreakers. 